Douglas County officials are calling it a first to three Omaha city leaders under the threat of recall at the same time. John Chapman reports the process takes months and why it could cost taxpayers thousands of dollars. Three different recall petition filing forms have been picked up from the Douglas County Election Commissioner's Office. One for Mayor Jean Stothert, one for Council Member Vinnie Palermo, and another for Council Member Danny Begley. Any constituent has a right to do that. All the recall paperwork has to be processed at the Election Commissioner's Office, and it's the taxpayers who will pick up that bill. That bill grows larger if any of the petitions turn into actual recall elections. That would call for a standalone special election. For school bond elections, you know, we figure about a dollar to a dollar fifteen per voter that the cost is. So in the in the case of the mayor, if this were actually to go to an election, you know, we, we could be talking three hundred thousand dollars. And that's paid by the political subdivision. So the city of Omaha would have to foot that bill. Douglas County Election Commissioner Brian Cruz says recall petitions can be taken out for almost any reason. They don't like the color of someone's tie, they didn't like someone said, but the checks and balances of it are really on the back end. The back end calls for valid signatures from 35% of votes cast in the last election. Take the mayor's last election, for example. Petitioners will need more than 34,000 valid signatures to even put a ballot before the voters. On your side in Omaha, I'm John Chapman, 6 News. 2019, a recall effort against Mayor Stothard never got off the ground. Organizers did collect enough signatures to recall Mayor Jim Suttle in 2011. He stayed in office by two percentage points.